my dear friends welcome to my channel in today's session we will discuss about the multi value dependency fully functional dependency and partial dependency these are the different types of uh, dependencies in dbms so now in today's session we will start with the multi valued dependency what is the meaning of multi valued dependency so here already in the name itself is there multi valued okay suppose it occurs when two attributes in a table are independent of each other but both dependent on the third attribute so in this point of view definitely we will consider three fields of information in those three fields definitely two fields are related to the independent and both the independent fields are dependent on the third third field then only we will say that that is multi value dependency so that's why definitely here we will consider at least three attributes that means at least three fields okay it is denoted by double arrow okay another definition also available for the multi value dependency that is uh, here the entities of the dependent uh, set are not dependent on each other here please observe if a implies b comma c okay so here b comma c are dependent on the a but here b and c are the independent okay this type of uh, dependencies are called as multi value dependency now we will discuss about the example okay here we will consider three fields definitely at the time of multi value dependency we want at least three fields okay that's why here i will consider car model manufacturing year and color so here please observe for every car model okay suppose for every car model is uh, definitely the company released two colors okay so here the manufacturing year and color are the independent okay definitely these two are the independent but these two are dependent on the car model okay that's why we will divide we will decompose this table into car model implies manufacturing year that is the multi valued another is car model implies color okay so here implies means the multi valued dependency is denoted by the double arrow coming to another example here okay suppose there is a bike manufacturer company which produces two colors of uh, each model every year so here here also same the manufacturing year and color are the independent attributes okay but this both uh, both these attributes are dependent on the bike model okay that's why we will decompose those table into two tables one is bike model implies manufacturing year another one is bike model implies color okay so here bike model is multi determined manufacturing year and bike model multi determined the color also so for the second definition here we will discuss another example here name and age are the independent but these two are dependent on the roll number okay so with the help of roll number definitely we will find out the name comma age okay that's why here according to the second definition here we will indicate roll number implies name comma age okay so here name and age are the both are the independent but these both are dependent on the roll number okay here name does not uh, gives the age age does not uh, gives the name okay so this is also multi valued dependency if you want more explanation please uh, watch these two videos okay so now we will see the fully functional dependency what is the meaning of fully functional dependent okay if uh, suppose we will consider one functional dependent okay one functional dependent if it is functionally dependent on that attribute and does not on any of its proper subset okay suppose here we we have lhs and rhs lhs implies rhs okay if we say that lhs implies rhs is fully functional dependent it does not allow here the rhs does not dependent on the any proper subset of the lhs okay so here we will see the example so here suppose abc implies d we will say that d is fully functional dependent on abc if and only if here the d does not dependent on any proper subset of abc then only we will say that abc implies capital d what are the subsets of uh, abc here a b c ab ac bc are the proper subsets so here if we say that abc implies d is the fully functional dependent so then definitely capital t does not uh, dependent on the a that means a cannot determine d b cannot determine d 
C cannot determine D, AB cannot determine D, AC cannot determine D, BC cannot determine D, then only we will say that here D is fully functional dependent on the ABC, okay, otherwise that is the partial dependency, okay, so otherwise if does not uh, satisfy that condition then that is the partial dependency now we will see another example also here uh, i will construct three fields here supplier id comma item id implies price okay here price is fully functional dependent on supplier id or, or item id now we will check it so here first we will check supplier id produces the price no because here we have um, supplier id one we have uh, several answers are available okay so that's why here supplier id does not produce the price now we will check it item id will produce the price or not item id also not produce the price so simply we say that supplier id comma item id implies price is the fully functional dependency okay now we will check it another example so here student id comma course id implies grade that is the functional dependency now we will check it if student id implies grade is the functional dependency no course id also does not produce the grade that's why here the grade is a fully functional dependent on the student id comma course id okay so here student id comma course id implies a student name that is not for uh, not fully functional dependent because here student id also produces the student name that's why here student id implies student name is the fully functional dependent the first functional dependency is the partial okay so here i will consider another example here also same thing student id course id dependent on the course name okay here course id also gives the course name that's why the third functional dependency is the partial course id implies course name is the fully functional dependency here okay if you want more information please watch this video okay so thank you very much for your patience thank you